Hello guys, and welcome back to episode 12 of my Nivocraft series. And today we're back over at Jemmy because I want some of these villagers. Now this should be safe. You can never be too sure. There we go, that's one. I'm gonna take this guy. Oh. Crap. If he takes damage, that's not too bad, just one potion and we can heal him. It's just the part of getting him there at my base, that's gonna be the tricky part. Because I don't have much reels and I'm not gonna make a lot since I already used 6 iron of my 9 iron. So I don't even have enough iron to fix it, or to make more. Okay, there we go, that's all we needed. Let's fish, fix this. That should be it. There we go. Server is a bit laggy, but what you can do? Let's make a reel over here because I don't want to fall them. Let them fall down. There we go. Come on, there you go. Ooh, come on, move. Good. Okay, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I am going to... I'm not going to do this all on camera, that's going to be tediously boring. But I'm just going to make them go over here. I already prepared this. I just took out some cobble, so I didn't have to actually put in smooth stone back. Put them through the portal, let me actually show you. And then make them go out here onto this track, which goes back to spawn. And then at spawn, the only part I haven't or is not like reeled is the uh, the, the actual actual uh, nether hub. So that's like 20 blocks. I'll have to go. I'll probably just put down some uh, rails. Um, but yeah, I will be doing this hopefully without them dying and. Hopefully, I will be back at my base, so I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. As you can see, Chloe is hanging out with me. It's just walking around, acting stupid, as usual. Um, but yeah, I managed... Oh, yeah, I think you can see where... Uh, uh, I'm gonna s start working on tech side. Um, yeah, I think you can guess where the villagers are. This is actually quite dangerous because they might be able to reach him through this gap. As you can see, that's the minecart. Oh, there, I broke it. Um, but yeah, I need to heal these villagers since I might have hit them quite bad whilst transporting them here. I actually drove them underneath a block earlier. So, what I'm going to do is let's see, I want to hit them as good as possible. There we go. Hopefully that will make them have a little bit more health. I actually want to try. This is probably going to be stupid, but... Oh, shh! Oops. Sorry. Get out of... That should do it. Um, but yeah, so I've got them healed. Next up is I need to build the structure for the iron golem farm and before I can do that I actually need a third villager. Um, but yeah, I think that will be it for now. I probably will record the rest of this video later on. Probably in about a week since I won't have to upload this for another week. Um, but yeah, I just did this. I might start up some of the structure for the iron golem farm. I'm actually not going to record building that since it's just a you can find it in a lot of videos how to make an iron golem farm. Um, I just wanted to show you that, where I got the villagers from. Stop making. Stop! Oh, by the way, this arrow has been here since the beginning. Um, but yeah, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm getting a bit pissed off because this is the third time I'm recording this. Um, the first time. 
I thought I had recorded it, so actually I have recorded before this, the last part of the video. And then whilst editing I found out I either pressed a button extra or to one button I missed pressing. So that means I basically I recorded the pieces in between recording. Um, but basically what I did after the last part you saw, I think I just got the two villagers over here. Um, but I have created this iron golem farm, it's basically it's a wood frame. You got doors on the side and then there are four pockets on each side. Each holds four villagers. I have to put in two in each, so I need eight villagers. <coughs> two on each side. And then they will automatically breed to 16 and then they will start producing iron golems which will spawn in the center. will fall down there, go into the killing mechanism which I won't show you since that will be after this part. Um, but yeah, now the problem is I need eight villagers. So what I did is over here. I need to get myself a gold farm. Normal carrots kind of suck. Also, I jump a lot, so that's part of the problem. But I've got one villager over here. Um, but I actually didn't. That was not one of the original two. The original two are still over here. And they are not really moving, but they are no longer breeding, and I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, I I told you guys I will. Basically, what I said is that I would get the villagers ready to put in there, and then would build the killing mechanism. But as you can see now, the villagers are not breeding. I might show you this after this. Um, well, basically, the villagers are not going to be done this episode since they are somehow not breeding. So maybe if you know what the problem is, let me know. Um, but hopefully, this little part in the center explained the missing part. If there are, st if you still have some questions about what happened in between or how something works, let me know in the comments, and I will gladly ask or answer your comment. I will pretty much always answer any comments, even if it's a stupid comment or something silly. I always try to respond because I think that's a lot of fun to interact. And I hear a zombie. Um, but yeah, hopefully this filled in the gap. If you still don't understand, ask me in the comments. And uh, I will be right back. Okay guys, so <coughs> now it's already Wednesday. So there has been some time spent and there still isn't a fort villager. So I don't know if this one is too close to that. Or that somehow the iron farm or those doors over there are messing it up. Um, so I don't have time to get enough villagers to get it working. Um, but what I want to do is I want to get this farm uh, going. Uh, at least make the killing mechanism. So I wanted to get some lava since there isn't any in my caves that I have found so far. So I just dug down. But I wasn't really paying attention, which you shouldn't do. So let's try to get down. Hopefully not all my items went into lava. If you didn't know yet, I just fell into this hole. If you're not that good at getting clues. Let's see. Is this... that's not going to kill us, is it? Perfect. We've got a bow with some arrows, so if a gas starts shooting at us, we should be fine. Come on, quicker. There is some fire down here. So I bet I have lost some stuff. Oh, I see my pickaxe, I see my axe. Oh, my diamond sword I see. I see most of the important stuff. Just pick it up before I die again. I think I got most. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I got this sword. I want to enchant that one, but... I had 29 levels, so but I'm back to 5 now. So I guess I forget, can't forget that for right now. Oh crap, no. Stupid fire. I think I've lost my infinity bow. And that guy is wearing my pants. Well, he can have those. It's my bow down there. I'll have to go down there anyway. Just try to go down there without dying.
It doesn't look very high yet. Few more. Okay, now we can jump down. I don't think I see my bow here. Well, that sucks. Come on down. Okay. Uh, so before I finish this episode, let's just get some extra lava since I'm here now. Now, do I have the rest of my stuff? Let's put this there. I think I got most of it. Science class. Yes, I think I got everything to finish this. Let's just go up like this. Have to get up there. That's a lot. Um, let's see. Uh, anyway, I have one question. I have been playing lately on some servers. Uh, first of all, to play Minecraft, which you have seen a video of. I have also played some Hypixel, since at the beginning, play Minecraft was a bit buggy. But because of that, I really wanted to play some PvP. Um, so I've been playing that. Uh, do you want to see more of that? Let me know. Then I have also been playing on a server of a friend of mine. I've done some videos him with him. Uh, it's Bearing Game. I do Dutch videos with him. Let's actually get some glow so now that I'm here. Um, but he is trying to set up a server. It's basically... we. U I used to actually make videos on a server which is called Banyo Town. Banyo Town for the Dutch viewers. And that was a really fun server with mini games and a survival and creative. Uh, but that server stopped. Um, but basically, what he is trying to do is basically make a server for his subscribers because he's got like 11,000 subscribers now. It's a bit more than I have, but <coughs> um, but he is trying to kind of make a ba uh, a new Banyo Town, but this time with more of him. He used to be one of the owners of that already. But now it's actually going to be based on him, basically. Um, so he will have a place for his subscribers as well as for all the fans that used to play on Bayonetta Town. Um, so I'm trying to help him out with that. I'm making like uh, uh, maps for paintball and survival games. It's a lot of fun, actually. Um, then there is the server I have now on my own uh, PC since I finally figured out how to port forward. Um, so I have been playing Pixelmon quite a bit. Uh, with some friends and it's also a lot of fun so I'm spending a lot of time that I usually just spend on like the single player world on uh, different kinds of servers and well Pixelmon I'm not gonna record for now uh, maybe I will do a series on that if the Pixelmon 3.0 comes out which is I think f quite soon I don't know if you're interested in that let me know um, let's see if we can find where I came from is there any red sand here? Oh, oh, that's clay. I think it was somewhere besides that thing. Um, but yeah, so I've been playing Pixelmon, uh, PvP I've been doing, and I've been helping out my friend on making a server. Well, how do I get back? I can also go to spawn, of course. Um, so that's three things I've been doing, of course, from uh, the server from my friend for uh, Banyo Town. I'm not going to make any videos. Maybe when it opens up, um, then I have so Pixelmon. Maybe I'll start videos on that for 3.0 when that comes out. And then there is the PvP, which I will just upload randomly. It depends on if I play good games or if I don't have anything else recorded, I might upload that. Um, and for two or for Friday, I will actually upload a new episode of uh, what's it called? Feed the Beast. Wow, I've been playing that a lot, so I even forgot the name almost. So that should be fun as well. Um, but yeah, having said that, uh, let me know what you think of those servers and what would you like to see on my channel. And uh, yeah, let me try to find my place back. 
and hopefully we can finish this off or at least the killing mechanism because the villagers is not going to work out so I will be right yeah that's not the place I will be right back oh okay I'm back at my base I almost thought that I was going to crash but it was just a bit of a lag spike um so I got back it didn't took me very long to find where I came down so here we are first of all let's put down this let's fit in this um, basically, I I first had the chest one higher, but then I decided to just lower it one. Um, but what we're going to do is I need to lower it one because I need to place water there to float into this hopper. I originally put a second hopper here and put the water there. I thought uh, because the first time I made an iron golem farm, I killed them with TNT, so I had to like get 50 of them in here. And if you have 50 of them here, you don't want to push them into a glass wall because they will glitch through it a lot. Uh, so you push them basically into a brick wall and that's a lot more secure. Uh, but since I am going to use a lava trap, I don't need to do that because they will be killed. Well, not instantly, but very quickly. So let's do this. Not there. Bad sign. Put lava there. And that definitely hurts. Good. Always, always need to test it, guys. Never forget. I might die here. Okay. So now what we want to do is, oh, actually, let's do this. Otherwise, we can't look into the chest. And finish this off with some glass or down there. And that's basically it. So now they will drop down here, burn in the lava, and the iron will just flush in here. And I can just grab it out of there. I will probably put some stairs here. Um, or not. It's just... So now I don't longer have to use uh, armor from mobs. I can just always use iron armor. For protection 1, because that's pretty easy to get. Holy sh... I just realized I got 23 levels from that little bit of quartz. I might go quartz mining a bit more to get... Nah. Um, anyway, I will try to get these villagers breeding. Let's see how if they've done something in the past time. Well, they've walked, finally. First day, this guy was in that corner. And that purple guy was always in this corner. Um, but yeah, let's put this back. Uh, also, let me know in the comments if you know why they are not breeding anymore. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's that, but you never know. So that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, yeah, I think next time we will start building a bit more. Because this side needs to be a lot higher. Because I just realized, when I walked over here, here it looks already quite high if you're close. But if you're on that mountain, for example, see if we can get there quickly. Of course we can't. Come on this episode isn't too long it actually looks pretty small you know in comparison to this giant mountain here so I think this left side we have to make quite big and high and that creeper just walked away good um, but yeah that's it for me leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe of course if you want to see more see you guys next time bye bye